Awesome. Uh, Ricky, you're back, man. We just saw you not too long ago, already making the turnaround. Um, talk to me about the quick turnaround. Why did you want to come back so quick? Uh, you know, I like to stay active. If I could fight every weekend, you know, I'd fight. And then on top of it, I just lost the last one, so I would love to get back in a win column. And t talk to me about that fight. I mean, um, kind of coming out of that loss, it's, it's still somewhat fresh. Like I said, quick turnaround. So what were your overall like, emotions coming out of that one when you think about it now? You know, can you just talk to me about that loss to Pettis? Um, you know, Pettis, he's a tough opponent. Don't want to take anything away from him. I just felt like I could have did more. I should have did more. But, you know, quick turnaround. Hopefully I can uh, show that. Yeah. And what do you think the biggest takeaways were for you? What do you think you could have done differently? Um, you know, I think I just put him on a pedestal. You know, I gave him too much respect and not myself enough respect. So now I kind of understand where I belong and hope we go out there and let it go. Yeah. And uh, do you hope sometime down the line you, you can get that one back? Yeah, I'm hoping Thursday starts a full circle, come back around and redeem all my losses. Yep. And since we, uh, we last spoke to you, there's obviously been a champion crown in your division. Did you watch that fight? What did you think of it? Were you surprised with who won? Yeah, I watched it, and I uh, definitely thought Archuleta was going to win. And uh, it was a very good, you know, exciting fight. I enjoyed it. Uh, I definitely thought it panned out the way I uh, expected. Yeah, and having been in there with both men, is it kind of like, man, you know, that guy's got gold around his waist. We had a close fight. Like, you know, I'm not that far away from, from being able to, to have that be me. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, both those guys we lost to, but, uh, you know, it just shows that we're, we're that close. Talk to me about the path back to that, you know, number one contenders type fight. Uh, obviously, like you said, it begins on Thursday. But w w what do you think the path is to, to get to that uh, You know, my eyes beat uh, this guy Thursday and then beat everybody, whoever they put in front of me. You know, not one, two, three, whatever it is. Whatever has to get me there. Yep. And talk to me about Leandro Higo a little bit. Um, have you watched tape on him? What are you expecting to see out of him when you guys get in there? Uh, I know he has a lot of fights. He's tough. He's been in there with some of the best guys and um, comes from a good gym. Just expecting a tough fight, a guy that shows up and is uh, ready to fight. Yep. And it seems like, too, like, you know, on paper, this this fight, you're exciting. He's pretty exciting. So do you think it will play out that way? Do you think that the fans are in for a good one with this one? Yeah, I think so. I think he shows up and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll show up and we'll, we'll put on a good uh, firework. Is there any extra added pressure for you to get a finish that you are coming off a loss? Just kind of like, you know, cement your name back in, the, in the, the picture, so to speak? I'm always looking for the finish, you know, like it's extra pressure on myself, but that just seems to be the way I fight. Yeah, awesome, man. Well, I appreciate the time and good luck on Thursday. Thank you, man. I appreciate it.